What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Ryan here with Morbly Travels and this video is gonna be a little different. While I got you here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. On the journey to a thousand subscribers still. Almost there. All right, many of you guys know I was just in Marrakesh, Morocco, hanging out on the continent of Africa for a bit. Did not really enjoy my time there because Marrakesh is full of scams. There's scams everywhere. And it all starts while you're at the airport. Scam number one to look out for, taxi drivers. Taxis at the airport were overcharged the crap out of you. Got there, taxi driver wanted a crazy amount of money. The guy wanted 30 euro to go for a 10 minute ride. And if you take the taxis in town, you'll see how absolutely absurd that is. May not think that's a lot until you find out you can get places all across town for literally dollars. 20 Durham will get you damn near anywhere, which is the equivalent of two dollars. You'll also see the taxi drivers drive around without starting their meters. And it's a guessing game. These guys can charge you really whatever they want to. The reason that the airport taxis say that their tariff is so high is because they have to pay a parking fee at the airport to get passengers. If you can, have transportation pre-booked before you get to the airport. It will save you a ton of money in the long run. If they have a meter in the car, make sure it's running. They can literally charge you whatever they want to and there's nothing you can do about it. Scam number two to look out for when traveling in Marrakesh. Anybody offering to help you with anything, they're gonna want money for it. I found this out after the taxi driver dropped me off with a random guy in the Medina. Taxi driver dropped me off with a kid, probably 15, 16, who walked me to Mariah, which was maybe half a block. Yep, you guessed it. He wanted money for doing it. Cool, no problem, middle of the night, I got in super late, gave him five bucks US. Here's the kicker. He had a homeboy that was with him that he picked up maybe halfway through that half a block who also wanted five dollars US to literally exist. I was like, yo, y'all gotta split the shit. So he wasn't happy about that, but whatevs. But yeah, it seems like the culture there, everybody wants to get a dollar from it. Scam number three goes hand in hand with asking for directions or help. You will end up on random ass adventures because they will point you in random directions. So, ended up on the back of this guy's bike. Whee! Whee! Ended up on the back of this guy's bike because, uh, the long story short, okay, this one I kind of. I kind of scammed myself. So I'm on the back of this bike. Randomly, I end up on it. So I'm walking through the Medina and a guy sees me like smelling the smells. And he's like, oh, you want to go towards the smell? And I'm like, sure, why not? And right as he's saying it, suspiciously, suspiciously less, wow, suspiciously less, I don't even know that's a word. A guy randomly drives by and he has his bike and he's heading right towards that the smell that I'm smelling is. So they talk to each other. He puts me on the back of the bike. I'm like, yeah, let's go. We're talking. He's like super friendly. You know where we were going. I was just along for the ride, getting some footage, off on an adventure. Uh, I have no idea where I am. Dude told me to get on the back of a bike. I hopped on the back of a bike. Anyway, we get there. I meet the old guy who's like walking around. He gives me some mint because it smells like doo doo. Got meant to use as a gas mask. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it smells like. Explains everything to me. Cool. What's your name, this man? is when the bullshit starts happening. Takes me to a leather shop. Oh, when all the leather and stuff is completed. So we are checking out the finished product. We leave there, he takes me to a spy shop. I'm like, all right, I'm ready to go. Spice is everywhere. Right at the end of it, he asked me for 200 ah, Finesse. I knew that was too good to be true. But they got me for 100 whatever, dinarum, dirham. The bike dude tried to get me with the, I make you happy, I take you here. I was like, bro, get that 
get from the guys who just robbed me. Yeah, don't scam yourself. Scam number four to look out for. The animal people in the square. These guys will try to get you to take pictures with the animals. I'm all right, man, you all right? Take a picture, take a picture. Nah, I'm good, man. Don't let them do it to you. Don't do it. What'll happen is you'll walk up to them, you'll try to pet the animals, or in my case, you'll shake the guy's hand and the monkey will jump on you. As soon as that happens, the guy wants money. And they'll charge you an absurd amount of durum for those pictures. It'll be something crazy like $20 a pop. The fifth thing to look out for, people pushing and pulling you in different directions to go do different things. One thing I learned super quickly, say no to everything that you're not interested in really, really quickly. What happens is, if you look at these guys. What's up, man? But you look Moroccan. Yeah, I know. Where come from? U.S. I was talking to one dude, he was walking with me, didn't say he worked there until maybe two minutes into conversation. Look, look, you understand me? I talk with you, just practice English. Bye bye. Hey, appreciate you, man. Thank you. He's like, all right, cool. I'm not going to buy anything. He's like, no, no, my father's shop stuff is imported and whatnot. Okay. But come, so. come to see my store to come back tomorrow to drink with me too. Just for love, not for love. Hey. For the most part, people have been friendly. Everybody's packing out. I was like, I'm still not following you. And then he got mad, and then he passed me off to this little kid right here. No, it's, it's, no not guy, yeah, not guy, no money. Where are you from? US, man. Does your face look Moroccan? Little kid was like, literally saying the same thing. No, no, I don't want anything. I just want to practice my English. They both did that. Yeah, and then you see them both ride by you 30 seconds later on the scooter, flipping you off. Hurts, hurts my feelings, gentlemen. Hurts my feelings. Don't follow anybody for anything. Do your own thing if you're there by yourself. For me, I don't think I'll be going back. When you're traveling through the Medina of Marrakesh, be sure to be careful. Watch out for scams. Watch out for suspicious dudes. Don't do what I did and hop on the back of a cycle with a random person taking me to God knows where. But yeah, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we will catch you in the next one.